In this video, I'll be going into detail about the different proton packs used in the courtroom scene in Ghostbusters 2. Hero packs and semi-hero packs are interchanged quite a bit between cuts, and I'll show you which ones are being used and how you can tell. I'm sure there are other fans who have studied this more that could identify each pack individually by name, but I'll just be focusing on hero versus semi-hero. I've used this scene extensively when making decisions about my pack, and I felt you might find it helpful or at least interesting as well. Hero packs were heavier, having more metal parts and electronics and batteries inside. They were used in the first movie and carried over into the second movie with some aesthetic modifications to match the newly built semi-hero packs. One of the heroes was used to make a mold to build the semi-heroes, and some of the metal parts were molded into the shell. Others were replaced by resin parts to reduce weight. Here are the details we will be looking for in this scene to distinguish between the two versions. The straps for the hero packs are LC1 straps, identifiable by the inverted V shape near the top of the strap. Most semi-heroes have LC2 straps with a straight piece in that spot. However, Ray's semi-hero has LC1 straps like a hero in this scene. Hero packs have a neck roll padding wrapped in gaffer's tape, whereas semi-heroes have padding attached by zip ties. The heroes have a red danger label on the motherboard, while the semi-heroes have a Makita battery externally mounted there instead. Hero packs have an aluminum booster tube with a cap attached a few inches down inside leaving a void. The semi-hero booster tubes were molded into the shell, so the top of the cap appears flat with no void. The heroes have a round red label on the HGA, and at least one semi-hero doesn't. On the hero packs on the top right corner of the back of the motherboard, you can sometimes see a silver screw that goes into the shell mounting bracket. There are also three rivets on the back side of the power cell. Neither of these features are on semi-hero packs. There are other differences, but for the purposes of this video, that's all I'm going to be highlighting here. Starting with Ray helping Egon put on his pack, you can tell it's a semi-hero by the booster tube, the Makita battery, the LC2 straps, and the neck roll with the zip ties. Egon hands Ray a pack and it's also a semi-hero you can tell by the battery and the neck roll with the zip ties as well. Peter stumbles around with his pack. It's probably a semi-hero as well. Kind of hard to tell. We might see a glimpse of the battery there. Then we move to the close-ups. Ray has a semi-hero. You can tell by the battery. But here you'll see that his straps are actually LC1 straps like a hero pack. And that's what will be consistent throughout this whole scene. Egon's close-up, you can see it's a semi-hero with the LC2 straps, again with the battery. Peter's close-up, again, semi-hero, LC2 straps, battery. You can see that it also doesn't have a red label on the HGA. We get another close-up of Ray when he says heat him up, still wearing the semi-hero pack. You can tell by the flat booster tube. Then we get a hero pack when we see the close-up of Vinkman's thrower. You can tell by the light effects and then it pans up to his face and you can tell again it's a hero by the LC1 straps, the booster tube that isn't flat, there's a silver screw there on the right and it's got the hero neck roll. We move over to Ray when he says Ray and he still has the semi-hero. You can tell by the battery and the lack of the HGA label. Then we see Egon's wand close up, and it's also a hero. You can tell by the light effects. And when it moves up to his face, then you also see the LC1 straps and the silver screw. It moves back to Peter, and then he glares at Egon, and it's still that same hero pack. You can tell by the LC1 straps and the silver screw, and then Egon smirks back on his close up and still wearing the hero pack. Then we can go back to the close-up of Ray, and he's still wearing his semi-hero. You can tell by the booster tube. 
And then when the wind starts blowing, you see the close-up of Peter. He's back in a, a semi-hero pack with the flat booster tube, LC2 straps, the Makita battery. Ray has the semi-hero still. And then Egon also has a semi-hero now. You can tell by the battery and the LC2 straps. Then we get another close-up of Peter. Still with the semi-hero, you can see the battery, the booster tube, and the straps. And then when the chairs and the ghosts start to appear, you see all three of them, Egon, Peter, will have the hero packs with the silver screw. You can kind of see them as the light shines. And Ray still has a semi-hero. You don't see the screw there on the pack. As they start firing, these have the close-up of Egon. But he has a semi-hero from this angle with the LC2 straps. And Peter's close-up is also a semi-hero with the LC2 straps and the battery visible. And then we get the shot of Peter screaming and then laughing. And he's wearing a hero pack again. You can see the LC1 straps and the neck roll. Ray starts laughing as well. Now he's got a hero pack on. You can tell by the booster tube, the neck roll, the silver screw, and the three rivets on the power cell. When Egon laughs, he's wearing a semi-hero now with the flat booster tube and the LC2 straps. Right before Ghost reappears, uh, Peter's laughing. You, again, you see that it's a hero with the booster tube, the LC1 straps, the neck roll, and you can barely see the silver screw. And as the ghost appears, uh, Ray turns around. He's got his hero pack on. You can see the booster tube, the neck roll, the power cell rivets, and the silver screw. Uh, Peter's firing at the ghost, still wearing the hero, still seeing the booster tube, and the flash bulb and the wand as giveaways. And then as Peter fires from behind, it's kind of harder to tell. It looks like a hero from this angle, and we could probably confirm it's the same shot later on. Uh, being a hero from some of the other things we'll see as it pans back to it here in just a few cuts. Next we see Ray watching Peter and he has a hero pack on with the red label on the motherboard, the first movie version of the neck roll, and the extended wand, and the hollow booster tube. Egon's close-up shows he's wearing a semi-hero with LC2 straps and the flat booster tube. Egon getting the trap, wearing the same semi-hero with the battery and the LC2 straps visible. But Ray in the background has the hero pack with the extended wand. Uh, we see Egon kneeling down and he's still wearing that semi-hero with the battery as the giveaway. As Ray is firing, you'll see the hero pack with the flash bulb and the wand extended. The next we see Ray firing up and he's wearing the hero pack as well, but you'll see on this one, it's interesting that you'll see the Ghostbusters 1 version of the ion arm elbow on the end cap. So this is a hero pack where that was not changed from the first movie. Also, you'll see the wand lights and the neck roll as giveaways for the hero pack there as well. When Peter is firing, this is kind of the giveaway for the other one we were talking about. It's a hero. You can tell by the neck roll, the wand extended, and the red label again. This uh, matches the same angle we saw on the one we were, not, we were not sure of just a minute ago. I took out some of the wide shots because it was just hard to see some of the details, and you're not going to be using those to make any judgments or decisions on uh, pack choices anyway. So I went back to some of the close-ups. When Egon says, call it Ray, he's wearing the semi-hero. You see the booster tube is flat. He's got the LC2 straps. And then at the end, when they start the two-in-the-box part, you see all three Ghostbusters. Peter has a hero pack. You can tell by the LC1 straps and the neck roll. Egon's wearing a semi-hero. It does not have an HGA label. It has the Makita battery and the LC2 straps. And then Ray has the hero pack with the older version of the neck roll, the power cell rivets, and the silver screw are visible. And the red label is also visible, but I didn't catch it in this actual screen cap. It, if you watch it on the video, you do see the red label. 
And that's about it. If you like this video, be sure and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back soon with more videos.